The World Health Organization defines social determinant of health as the condition in which people are born, grow, work, live, and age. These are broad and complex, of course, and include many, many factors. Everything from the quality of education a child receives, to the neighborhood he grew up in, to the kind of food they have available, and to the discrimination they experience. We tend to think that our health is mainly determined by genetics. But genetics only account for 30% of our overall health, and the rest is due to other factors such as individual behaviors, the health care and access to health care, and social and environmental factors. There are explanations for what determines life outcomes. They're actually quite antiquated and not based in science, where we know that individual effort is absolutely necessary but not sufficient to determine health and life outcomes. So we have to do a better job as scientists uh, in pointing to the data that supports that more complicated narrative. We're going to have to tell human stories that up in this notion that if you just try hard enough, you're going to get to good life outcomes because a whole lot of people have been trying real hard for a really long time. If your housing is unstable from month to month, if you live in fear or concern that someone close to you is going to hurt you, if you don't have enough money to cover essential expenses like food on a regular basis, how important is it going to be for you to get vaccinated or for you to get a mammogram or for you to take your child to a well child checkup. What we know is that when these basic needs are unmet, it is associated often quite strongly with a lot of really adverse health outcomes. So worse or more compromised mental health, um, physical health, uh, health care utilization, ER utilization, um, inappropriate or incomplete use of prescription medications, appointment keeping, higher costs. I think that we've got to get out of the mold of thinking that we are healthcare providers and that we are healthcare companies and begin to think that we really kind of embrace this notion that we are in the business of working with people and changing the course of their lives. And it's not just about their physical health. Pick a person on a government program who lives in an underserved part of the community. And they've got diabetes and they've got heart disease. But what if they live in that neighborhood where they can't walk up and down their street? When we tell them that part of the treatment for diabetes is to exercise, what if they can't afford the food that we tell them they should eat? to get healthier. How can we possibly ignore that as an industry? We have a business imperative to be really, really good at what we do and help people get healthier on behalf of our clients. It's not just a business imperative. It's a moral and ethical imperative. We're in healthcare. That's a public good. <laughs>